Welcome back, friends! Let's go! This is the deck you've all been waiting for, the thing that was promised. Uh, this deck is incredible. It's like a, a, you lose against against mirrors. <laughs> I don't know. Um, one question I have for the community before we get started, though. How do you change the cover card on a deck? It's just like, this one's not even in the deck anymore. Please help me! All right, so this deck is all built around enchantments. Now, if there was, and this is something, if anybody knows of one like this, but like if I could get an enchantment that did hexproof, that's that's what I would want. Uh, choose a planeswalker type, planeswalker, you control the chosen type of hexproof. As long as you control a creature, if damage dealt to a planeswalker, you control of the chosen type would result in all loyalty counters being removed and instead all but one of those are, are removed. So you just have to control a creature. Deification is pretty nice. Uh, Mazes, Mantle, Enchanted Creature, blah, 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 blah. Enchanted Creature has Toxic. That creature has XP. So these are the only ones that I have. I guess Gobakan would give it to you, huh? Yeah, Gobakan might be worth including, because it is also an enchantment here. You just don't play the enchantment, so. It's a little bit weird. You may exile an online card from it, um, and then it makes it cost two more. So it lets you see your opponent's hand and makes it puts a card two mana out of reach. So it's Gobakan's good. It's not amazing. The, like, one plus one at, at the end step is helpful. I feel like that's better in a plus one plus one deck. This one is a lot of... A lot of those but it's not built around that mechanic like our botanical brawler deck was instead this one is built around things like generous visitor whenever you cast enchantment spell put a plus one plus one counter on target creature note that this one is not an enchantment creature but the rest are machigo is amazing she's the the steps one and two i mean herself like portrait is is good because it's just perpetually that amount of damage, but being able to put it on other things, specifically Jukai Naturalist, is amazing. And Jukai is going to be your bread and butter or for this. All of these just work really well together. There's not a single card that's not good, candidly. But this one gives you lifelink, which is really nice. And then your enchantment spells all cost one less to cast, so you're going to get all of them cheaper. And this one is... I forgot this one was an enchantment. So in a game I was just playing, I was like, why did they do that one first instead of saying it? That's why. Um, Weaver of Harmony is going to give your enchantment creatures plus one, plus one. Um, and then is also... I had an error with this one. Maybe Calyx isn't an enchantment creature, though. No, he is. Yeah, so Calyx, Guided by Fate, is also going to give you whatever... Calyx Guide by Fate or another enchantment creature into the battlefield under control. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Whenever Calyx or enchanted creature you control deals combat damage to another player, you may create a token that's a copy of a non-legendary enchantment you control. Do this only once each turn. So you can do this once each turn. And we are going to pair this with something I don't see other people use in this deck that is amazing. Takazi is welcome. This is going to just give you all the draws. But you've freaking amazing you can also give it to ijango to create other spirit uh, spirit tokens um you can do it to seal from existence to lock stuff away you can also do it to jukai naturalist because they're an enchantment creature you can do it to weaver of harmony because they're an enchantment creature they're all enchantments even though it's a creature it's also an enchantment so that was kind of the weirdest thing for me to see when i played this one then we just have like ossifications realm breakers grass these are all ones i still had the only mythic you have in here is Calyx. Kasia's is a rare, very worthwhile. I've added this into my other deck as well, my Mondrak deck. It's just superb. Um, the only thing I'll say is four can be a little... You don't want to have four on the board, especially if you're going against a blue mill deck. You don't want to have four because it's too many. But you want to have four in your deck because you want to have two on the board. Um, having two on the board just makes it so you can't lose <laughs> It's not another way to describe it. 
Uh, I don't have any planeswalkers here. I don't think they're necessary. You're going to be able to use ossifications and seal from existence and da, 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 to lock other ones away. Uh, yep. I think that pretty much seals it up. So let's go do a couple of games. Ooh, man, I got the tires just barely. This one we're taking into ranked. This is your rank. After this each victory, rank. it'll improve. Well, not after each victory. After five net victories in a row, your rank improves. Flashing flat. That's kind of a fun name. Okay, these two are great. This is a good counter. These are helpful. Um, botanical pause is nice to be able to sack and get a new card from. And those are just commons, by the way, so you can get them pretty easy. I am going to... I want these down. Oops. I might play a little slower at the beginning. I might, I might go Generous Visitor, then Radiant Grove, then I can do Realm Breaker's Grasp on whatever's down. Yeah. Then we can do Weaver, Ijongo, depending on what the opponent does. Spara's is a little anxiety inducing. Okay. Fine. This one's concerning because it's still going to proc its stuff, um, but they're not mana abilities. So with Realm Breaker's Grasp, we can kind of seal it away. Question is do we want. What do we want to do here? And one cool thing about Ijongo, and you'll see this. In is that Jango is going to be able to play out Realm Breaker's Grass for free next turn. Only downside with that Jango is it's, uh, it has to be Twains. So you can get to a point where you... I mean, you saw we only had four there. So you can get to a point. We're not going to attack because I want to prevent the poison. Uh, I'm expecting it to be a prolific. The weird choice. I definitely would have attacked there. So Weaver of Harmony wouldn't be able to do this thing yet anyway, and it would cost too much to do the other one. Um, I'm guessing they have some way, and I need to keep Generous Visitor alive, so I'm guessing they have some kind of... It might be a Hexproof, it might be an Indestructible, so they might just sit on it, anticipating that I might attack them soon, but we're going to discard Realmbreaker's Grasp, and then it comes back, and we're going to just go ahead and drop Rock Priest onto it, that way it can't do its thing. We're going to go for Takazi as welcome, for two reasons. One, I need the draws. Two, we can play Weaver of Harmony on it. Three, Restoration will trigger it. Another thing about Venerate is, if you watch my other deck, you can play more than one onto the board. So if he gets another one, you're going to be in trouble. But we, we still have some options here, so... Hoping for a different kind of, like a, uh, whatever the, like a one that locks stuff away. But restoration's fine. I don't want to really play these right now, because I, like, he's going to give this up one plus one, I guess. So that might actually be worth doing. Um, because then he can kill an next entry. Ah, uh, see, I have three, so I couldn't count the count. Which sucks, but this will be fine. Oh, how I hate Counterspell. But they're running out of cards, so... We have to cost this. 
how much do I have to worry about this? I don't know, but I'm getting another one and he'll create a one. There's only one way to find out. And it'll play down whatever this card is. Okay, so it still is procking that. A weird choice not to do that just first, since you're getting two poison procs. And now I get a spirit. And this is vigilance too. So it's very strange. Uh, I'm going to discard a... So here's the cool thing. It got countered, right? So we're going to discard a planes. And then we're going to put Weaver of Harmony onto the board. Ha ha, hee hee, nee nee, noo noo. my son was sailed that. Nee nee, noo noo. We're going to go for the other Kokasi's Welcome. And then Spirited Companion. We're, we'll draw two cards here. One for each. One from this one, one from the Cassius. All right, this is great. This is perfect. This is exactly what we need. We can drop this onto an Sentry. We get to go. We're gonna hold Spirit and just do Architect. Uh, no, we get an extra one anyway. So the only crap thing here is like I need Weaver of Harmony to block an Sentry. So that sucks, but it's okay. Um, we'll go to six this turn, maybe seven. No, we still have time. Oh, I have to. I'm hoping he triggers here, though. Okay. Well, I'm gonna kill you, so that's for sure gonna happen. Um, let's kill you. Kill you, and then we'll just put you here just for good measure. I want scroll. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, by the way, this is a different turn, right? Because it's his opponent's turn, so every time I block with Architect, Takasius goes off. So, this card, do not sleep on Takasius as well. Not all these enchantment decks have this in it, and it is an enchantment, so you're getting all the other bonuses. It's just a thing. Why am I getting hit by three? Okay, so he phased out three and then realized he was going to die because he's so long. Cool, 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 cool. Ooh, that got a little stressful, but um, we ended up okay. We didn't even get Calyx. Oh, I just saw you messaging. I was just, like so entranced in that game. Uh, welcome, Chern Moo. How are you? Uh, you're doing Dragon Age? Yes, Takazia only triggers once per turn, but it's once each, and it can trigger on the other opponents. No, Calyx doesn't copy the resolve of, a, of an ability. He copies the thing itself. So you would get a token of Takazia's. You could get a second one. So, uh... Yeah, you may create a token that's a copy of the enchantment. Oh, did they announce a new Dragon Age? I missed that. Okay, we'll go Blossoming. Oh, the second token doesn't do anything? Just because it's a copy of the first? That's weird. I don't, I don't understand that at all. Okay, I'm going to do Weaver of Harmony, then I'm going to do Generous Visitor, then I'll do... Well, nah, I just want this down first. These are like hard choices, honestly. So now do I do Calyx? Do I do Jukai? Like, Jukai's going to make everything cheaper. I could have played it first, but I want the value. So I'll do this, and then I can do Ossification on the so that's nice. Oh no no. Oh, hey, hey, no. 
It is dreaded, it is feared! When I dropped Spirit Companion, I only drew two and not three. And I feel like the lag is making it. This is a this is a hard deck to like track what you're referencing. I have to I have to be like actively doing it. Spirit Companion. Oh, I hadn't created. I didn't have Calyx on the board yet. There was no Calyx. I didn't have a copy. And I had played one of those mid-play. Yeah, yeah. But I had. But I. I had played one. I had already gotten the first one from my jungle. That's why. I get what you're saying. I get your confusion now. I jungle goes onto the board at the beginning of the turn. That was my first Toronto Kasia because he is a three. Um, he's a three mana card. So it's still procs. So that's how I procced first Takasi. Then the second one, I played that turn and then played the spirit. The, uh, the whatever that spirit dude's called. Um, he can still activate mana abilities, huh? That kind of sucks, but... At least we knock him out of the battle otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's all good. It's weird when you have it come out. That's, that's why I have it in my other deck, because Skrelv's Hive will send out units at the beginning, and you'll get the draws before your turn starts. And it's also amazing with uh, with the other people that I use. Um, shoot, what do, what do I call them? Okay, we have two or more, so we'll go Ijango here. I'm not really worried about Rona doing anything crazy, and I kind of want him to dump all his mana and maybe even some life onto her. She's five, though, so... Looks like he's not gonna opt to activate it. The tap function, so she can't do that. Uh, I don't mind us both drawing cards. Would have been nice to have gotten out Realm Breakers for free, but Lauren is an, is a legendary, so I'm not worried about happening. This because I'm gonna run out of points. Rona is one three, but Rona transformed is five five. She does some nasty stuff. So. Uh, but Adeline might be bigger problem actually. We might lose this one just because of draws. We're just getting. Oh my gosh, like some games I'm like, oh, can I ever get mana? This is not one of those games. Not at all. She's just too much damage. Looks like I can't let her go. <laughs> Are you also climbing with enchantment? It's one turn too late, but... Oh, chimney... How can he... Oh, he can just replace it. And then I don't control the enchantment anymore, so that actually works out pretty well. I missed all my draws, and this guy got all of his. Like, look how many of these are legendaries. And gets just all the right ones. This one reeks to me of a... Of a, um, what's his face? The... Uh, jo Jonah, the unifier or whatever. I'm good with that deck too, because you don't want all of them. Hey, 
hang in here for a minute, but it's going to be pretty rough. All right. Uh, Calyx and Machigo give me a chance, but it's not a good one. Okay. Now we're getting our draws just three turns too late. <laughs> they were all there. You just had to dig around for them a little bit. Oh, perfect. Balanced as all things should be. You don't have a black deck? Black is so easy right now. Black is just brain dead, to be honest. Okay, we didn't block this with this. I can kill Rona here, so. Like, isn't this supposed to stop? Its activated abilities can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. Oh, activated, not passives. Uh, I die here. I mean, like, this is cool because I draw my cards, but it's not the main uses. I also drew, so, you know, shield red. Yeah, I think you... I, I don't love Realm Breaker's grasp in this. I think you need more, like, seal away stuff. Um, I don't think I can do that. I think I'm out of cards. Yeah, ossifications are better. Yeah, let's see, hold for ransom is worse. I just don't have any more uncommons. So yeah, that would be better. Um, oh, Planar Disruption is better than Realm Breaker's Grasp. So let's swap for one of those. This is unless they're mana abilities and this one's active abilities can't be activated. It also does Planeswalker. Okay, so make sure to do planar disruption. It's like a clear upgrade. There's no drawback there. Strange. Or crew vehicles. I think you forget that that's a thing, huh? Okay. This is better. We'll do borrowed time. Much better option. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. That's why I was like, I know that there's another option. I just can't remember what it was. So we got it. We could also do another seal from existence, but it's two, it's two whites. The nice thing about that one is it's ward three, so it's tougher to deal with. Um, and I probably do have enough whites for it since this is a majority white deck. It's just a little rougher to get. So, yeah. Let's go get the trip. Uh, those passives still ticking off were not pretty rough. And it would have been even worse with Shieldred. Oh. This is better. Hey, okay, even better. I just noticed this is Teferi. Okay, we're gonna go for... Th this is always a rough choice to choose. 
If I do this now, I can do Jukai and then Weeper. In the same turn, so. Oh no. Oh please no. Reach the multiverse. Coming in, baby. Save that borrowed time. Black breach the multiverse deck with kills? A bunch of reds for an Atali? What? I've never seen this deck before. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do a crazy here. I'm gonna go for Takazius. I, I need it. I could just need the draw. I need the draw. Okay, and I'm glad. They just read ahead. Show me the other cards, man. Oh, it's doing all of them. It's gonna be a tally for sure. Yeah. Okay, we got two. Do I risk the chance of getting? I think we just gotta lock down these threats and then we can do. Like he already has go for the throat, so. I gotta throw him a bone. It's probably gonna be Calyx since I have a second one anyway. He can't play a tally yet. He's still two mana away, so that's good. Unless he plays a discard into something else. What the heck? Just from like hovering over it, that's cool. So there are certain cards, like if you discard it, then you can get it back, but I'm just saving seal from existence. Problem is that Atali's gonna get one of each of our cards. I just like, this card is just really fine. Oh no. Man, we does. Okay, no. Okay, we're gonna go for Spirited Companion to take two draws. Well, I can do Weaver of Harmony. No, we're gonna just take the two draws. Because then if I get one, I can do Calyx. I still get the draws, bro. Yeah. I regret to inform you, Ambassador. This will not work out the way you want it to. Yeah, there it is. This is gonna be like a breach the multiverse. Like, it's stupid to me that all these are rares. I didn't get any good units out though, right? No, he somehow got one of my calyxes because of amazing abilities. I don't, I don't know. Honestly, some bullshit. You know what I'm gonna do to you, you dirty little rascal. Luckily these decks don't usually have hexproof in them, so that's nice. Like, imagine if it was blue and he had the stupid return to hand. A 
That's true. You can do it up to four times. Uh, oh, I can do two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Let's do it. Like, I should have maybe done Generous Visitor first, huh? Then I get, like, the other draws, and it would have put the proc on him. That was dumb. Not all of us can be geniuses. That was a big misplay. Oh my gosh, he has, like, he has some kind of instant, and it's driving me nuts. Um... Maybe we would have killed each other, but I don't want to risk it. He knows I have Calyx, so maybe he's, that's what he's waiting for. I don't know. Well, for you, I'd put it on Dragon. Why would you do that? I want to keep him alive, I guess. I guess you have a decent number of enchantments. Calyx actually works pretty well for you. Oh! I would say attracts a multi like breach the multiverse cruelty Atali is one of the best decks in game right now. Like I would call this like this it's like this and Joda are like okay, we'll go Jukai. See what we get. Just like just play your feckin' instance. Gonna drive me nuts, bro. There we go. Thanks for playing that first, by the way. Very helpful. Uh, uh, what is Gix's last? Uh, so we gotta do that, right? Like, this is annoying, but this is what we're doing. Oh, I can't afford it. Like, the fact... I will say this for this deck, though. The fact that I'm going toe-to-toe -to -toe with an Atraxa Atali deck and really laying down the pain. I mean, the Flesh Gorger, the uh, second Atraxa... I'm screwed. Like, I'm done. Like, there's no way. I, just, I have to pay life equal to his power, which is seven. And then he gets the a haste right away. I, like, I got close. I did the stupid. I played Calyx here. I needed do seal i should have done the generous visitor before playing this you know like i made several mistakes this game but we we hung in there we we hung heavy i'm i'm genuinely happy and impressed with how that all went down all right, we're gonna do one last game, and then uh, for those of you who watch the stream, it's gonna be party time. Watch me sweat. It's like my new favorite thing, honestly. I, I, I genuinely look forward to it every week now. It's like, gonna do, gonna do some ladder climbs. Gonna do some, gonna do some sweats. All right. Um, so you can do a restoration, then restoration. No, we gotta do restoration then Takasi. Okay. That's why we played that in that order. Haunted Ridge. Do double mana. I do like it. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do generous. And then, I mean, I could have done Takasias, but I want the damage value more than the extra card right now, which I know sounds weird. Why? That that is what I want. So. 
because it's going to proc that. And I need to I need to just milk out these ones. This is why I wish there were more like a hexproof enchantment that I could drop on Calyx. But I it, that would be a remake. Okay, we get the costumes here. That was another reason I wasn't super worried about it, because I was gonna get it there. Um, I think we'll go for Botanical Plaza. And I think I'm gonna do a Jungo over Calyx. Why? Honestly, I don't know. He's gonna die. I'm gonna put it on a jungle. Because if they're gonna kill something, it's gonna be him. <clears throat> so why beef something up that I don't know? I don't need respect. Just don't <laughs> be down the locals. He didn't pay the casualty to double. See? Haha, <laughs> good choice, right? <laughs> um, I'm gonna seal. I think I have enough to do both, so. Got first. He's gonna create a thing. So we'll get the draws then. Bye bye. Let's see, he creates the steward token. Bing, bada, boom. Not worth the effort. Uh kill, 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 make a kill, 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 kill. Oh, what does raids do? The beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice an artifact. Three times ten months. What do you do? I can just sacrifice, not kill. Each opponent who doesn't. Does he have an enchantment? I forgot he killed that. And then we get two. Yeah! Alright. Um, <clears throat> I have to count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is enough. So, we do this. Uh, that was maybe not the best, but now we get doubles here, so. Mix it up a little bit. Just trying to spread the love. I don't I don't want this getting insticated. Sacrifice something, right? So, I mean, either way, it's gonna be the same thing. So, it's just gonna be a generous visitor. Everyone who doesn't loses two life, and you draw a card. So, you can't let them draw cards. Absolutely not. Okay, that sucks. Not without precedent. Um, but I'm gonna decline actually. Seeing as they went down to that, I think we're okay. I'm on the board, give me my two draws. Yes! Yes! Alright, I only have two Machikos because they are uncommon because I'm out. But we're gonna go plus this one up, plus this one up again. Oh, 
Okay, um, that works. I think I can afford it, so. Just gonna drop it all on this generous visitor. And that's gonna put it to like 14. I think I have 10. No, just six. Okay, that's fine. Sucks to suck. Yep. Here we go. Woo! Mr. Mr. Jukai Natural. Sometimes the Jukai will pull you out of a rut just from you drop Michiko onto it, you get the life steal, and that'll put you back in the game. Uh, white blue soldiers is rough, but this but enchantments is better, I think. Anyway, let me know what all of you think in the comments down below. Do you think white blue soldiers is even better? I want to hear your opinions. Till next time. Bye for now.